Hey, what's up, YouTube people, internet land? Um, today I'm going to be talking about down gearing your bike. Uh, not shifting your gears down, but down gearing your bike. Um, watch some videos from Durian Rider, Valve Rider, and um, they down gear their bike. Um, gonna attempt Everesting or the most amount of elevation gain um, that I could possibly try to do soon um, and going to try to climb some epic hills and need some lower gears yeah this is my road bike here it is here's my specialized tarmac SL2 uh, used to be full SRAM rival group set and uh, right now I have a SRAM rival front derailleur um, this bike's about three years old and I have a compact crank scent in the front 5034 with a 110 BCD um, this is a 10 speed and this is my 10 speed uh, hub with a 1136 cassette and the, the derailleur that I have on here is the SRAM it is the SRAM SRAM GX 10 speed uh, exact actuation actuation 10 speed uh, type 2.1 roller bearing clutch rear derailleur uh, long cage yep and um, this also has the the locking mechanism um, so this is the box that it came in right here and there's a SRAM GX 2x10 medium cage derailleur and I'll show you my old derailleur in there. Um, this is my SRAM Rival short cage previously that I had on the bike. And I used to run a 1128, um, which is a pretty standard cassette nowadays. Um, and the chain I chose was a SRAM PC 1051 10 speed chain. Um, as well as a PG-1050-1136 cassette all from SRAM and um, everything was purchased on Amazon except for the cassette cassette purchased at my local bike shop for about uh, 75 bucks yeah but here's how it looks um, there you go I'm back pedaling and back pedaling just fine this is in the lowest gear 3436 so lower than a one by one ratio and um, yeah as you can see no problems um, my mechanic did tell me that there is some chain rub on the inside part of the front derailleur um, that's just due to it being a road uh, front derailleur. Um, I do have the brazon type front derailleur with the screw attachment here so I'm not too sure if I'd be able to switch this to a full mountain bike derailleur to accommodate a wider uh, opening here. If anyone knows please comment me on the the bottom in the comment box. Uh, I would gr greatly appreciate it and I didn't get to test it out on any hills yet I just got it uh, this afternoon um, yeah I did not get to ride it yet but I will be posting um, updates when I do get to ride it how did it feel on climbs greater than 10% gradient so for here on the island of Oahu uh, we have uh, Peacock Flats in Wailua. We have um, we have Wilhelmina Rise 
in Kaimul Key, and we've got um, we've got the hill by Hanama Bay, Hanama Bay, um, which is kind of like a fire road on the side of the mountain, super steep. Um, and we've also got Hale Kua Drive um, in the hills across from Kahala, Kahala Mall. But uh, yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. Pretty stoked to uh, have this setup. Um, super low gears. And this is an 1136 cassette on a road bike. Regular Tarmac SL2. And compact crank set in the front. Um, 50, 34, 1136 in the back. All 10 speed. Yeah. I do want to note that there is a spacer between the hub back here. Let me see. I'll try to hold the camera steady to show it. But it is between the cassette and the hub. There is a spacer um, that creates this larger this larger gap behind here between the spokes and the hub itself yeah um, and the pretty cool thing about this GX derailleur there's not too much videos that actually show the GX derailleur I've noticed um, in a 2 by setup it's mostly one by stuff um, is this straight, this straight, uh, wiring right here that goes straight into the top of the rear derailleur without having to extremely bend around the, the cabling, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you're down gearing your bike as well. Good luck in your journey. Um, soon, uh, soon I'll have a video about down gearing my Kestrel um, with the Linderettes and an Altegra 6700 uh, long cage derailleur or medium cage derailleur. Thanks for tuning in and aloha from Hawaii. Peace.